Otherwise, please take care of yourself this morning in our practice, honor whatever's going on for you in your body. I'll give you lots of options to play with throughout our time together. So a few things uh, that we are going to do this morning, just to give you a little bit of a preview. So we're actually gonna start uh, supine, but in a prone position on the belly. Then we'll flip over. So watch, don't do this yet. And um, we'll do six movements of the spine in a reclined position, but sometimes this can be a little bit tricky. So um, cat cow is just a little bit of movement lifting the hips and pelvis off of the earth. And then uh, when you're down on the ground, sitting bones root, and you're trying to get quite a bit of low back curve here to create the other range of motion here. So it's not lifting all the way up into a bridge pose. It's just a little bit of a scoop of the tail around and then to extend. From there, one hand's gonna go to the back of the head. This is our lateral um, side body stretch. So we'll stay on one side. If you're not getting enough, you can always move your foot out and go deeper into your side body. And then from there, this will be our twisting motion layer one, twisting motion layer two, if you're needing a little bit more, okay? So that's one thing. The other thing is we're gonna play with um, side plank pose. And for that, um, I don't wanna to spend too much time, but basically just stay active with your palm, with your hands. So as opposed to just having your hand flat, uh, think of it like a gecko paw. So the finger pads activate down. So there's a little bit more engagement. And then final thing is that we'll also play with a variation of side plank um, and tree pose. So tree pose in balance and tree pose inside plank. But the key here is that I'm gonna invite you to play with just uh, bringing your foot into its natural range of motion. So it's gonna be wherever you end up. So my natural range of motion is just here. Um, to go higher, I would need to take my leg and actually tug it higher up. And uh, so we're just gonna play with um, instead of activating more than your natural range, we're just gonna work with where you pause. So that might be here without pulling the leg up, okay? So we'll do that both in tree pose and in um, side plank as well. So uh, final thing is uh, just what I was thinking about in, in contemplating this practice was I usually end a lot of most of my classes by just saying honoring your wisdom and strength and um, I really love those two things, just in the sense of, I feel like the practice of yoga for me both connects to the inner conversation, which builds a relationship to insight and my, um, the wisdom that I feel like lives within every human being. And then the strength part, yes, there's physical strength, but also just uh, um, the strength of resiliency and adaptation and grace that every um, human being also can tap into and engage with. So we'll play a little bit um, with that. Yes, good question. Modification for side plank. So uh, you can for sure, I'll, I'll give, we'll do it in layers, but you can come onto the forearm if you're having wrist stuff, uh, you can also just step a foot forward instead of stacking the feet. So that's a lovely option as well. Yeah, so those are good two modifications. All right, so come onto your belly and come into a prone position. Keep the chin at neutral here. So you can either stack the palms out in front to give yourself a little bit more support, or you could also have the chin on the ground as long as your neck is not overly curved in that process. If the placement of the head doesn't feel comfortable here. You can also do forehead to ground, so finding a neutral space for your neck. And taking one full deep breath here, notice the contrast of breath with the front body compressed on the earth. Exhale, open mouth, let it go. Invite your eyes to relax a little bit here. Soften through your gaze. And take a moment to honor where you're at, how you're showing up in this time, this place that you've carved out for your practice.
and simply bring awareness to what's going on in your physical body, even by just turning the inward lens onto what's going on can often create some awareness, some release of tension. And from here, also honoring what's going on in the landscape of your breath and also in the conversation of your mind. If there's already been activity, busyness, maybe you're more in a spacious place or somewhere in between. And gradually here, start to deepen your breath. Again, even with the compression of your front body on the earth, see how it feels to amplify your breath pattern. Envisioning the 360 degrees of the breath, the air flowing into your lungs, the whole cylinder of the abdomen expanding, awakening. And notice the way that air moves various parts of your body. You might even have a bit more contact here with the sides of your body, the back of your body. As you start to amplify your breath, take a moment to set an intention, focus, direction for your time here this morning. And it could be around this idea of wisdom and strength, acknowledging these two qualities that are already woven into the fabric of who you are. So it's not things that need to be earned or achieved. Sometimes just connected to or awakened more fully. And if that doesn't resonate with you, set a focus that really supports you and works for you this morning. gradually here find a comfortable way using your palms your hands to flip over onto your back coming into a reclined position bend your knees feet about three or five to six inches apart arms by the side of your body continue to amplify and connect to your breath with your next inhalation, start to lift your hips and pelvis just a little bit off the earth, deep scoop in your tail for cat stretch. And with the uh, exhalation, or inhalation rather, let's do inhale to return sitting bones to the earth, low back curve. Exhale to create the little scoop, a little bit of a lift of your hips. Inhale to draw. Sitting bones to the ground, move your tailbone in the opposite direction, create lots of low back curve, honoring your range of motion here. Again, exhale to round in, cat stretch. Inhale, cow stretch. One more time, both cycles. Next time you're in the cow stretch, use your exhale to return low back to neutral place. Gradually take your right hand behind your head. The head can stay on the ground or lift a little bit. Inhale to lengthen uh, right arm or left arm out to the side. With your exhalation, try to move towards your foot. So it's a little lateral stretch of the left side. So using the breath, exhale to stretch. Inhale to center. You might feel your abdominals awakening a little bit here as well. One more cycle. And gradually pause and center switch, left hand behind your head. Inhale breath with the exhalation, gentle little arc towards your right foot. If you're not getting enough, reach further out towards your toes with your right fingertips, creating a little C curve here, head lifted, supported by your left hand. One more cycle. 
and gradually return back to middle, separate your feet to the width of your mat or just wider apart, start to windshield wiper. Inhale through center, exhale, gentle rotation, mindful, slow twists. And if this feels like you're not getting much, you need a little bit more, lift your feet off the ground and start to use a little bit more of your abdominal strength, moving right to left, gentle motion. With the inhale, return back through center space. Take your hands behind of your hamstrings. Chin comes to sternum. Start to slowly rock forward and back on either side of your spine. If this does not feel lovely, please don't do it. Roll over to one side in a fetal pose and then press up. Next time your feet are onto the earth, pause here. Lift your feet off the ground. Spin everything. Shift your feedback, tabletop position. Fire up through your finger pads, curl your toes, inner arms and legs strong, little scoop in the tail, dome your mid and upper back, shoulders towards the sky just a bit. With your inhale, lift your knees off of the ground, hover here for five, four, three, two, one. With an inhale, shift back, hips towards the back wall, downward dog, bend one knee at a time, head relaxed, walk it out. Continue to stay with a full breath. Gradually pause back at center here, hips towards the sky. Practice here, engaging the little gecko paw activation with your palms, your hands. You might feel some energy radiating from your fingers up the forearm, the shoulders. This is good. That's the arm muscle staying active. One more inhale. With your exhale, step up to the front edge of your space. Take your time, how long it gets it takes you to get there. Feet hip distance. Inhale to lift and lengthen halfway up. L shape with your spine. Exhale to fold back down. Inhale again, halfway rise. With exhalation, bend your knees, shift the weight back. Inhale to rise all the way up to standing, circle the arms. Exhale, palms come to heart center. Inhale to lift arms back up to the sky. Exhale, hinge, float forward, wide dive, forward bend. Inhale to lift and lengthen halfway up. With exhale, bend your knees, shift the weight back, stay here. On inhale, back off the bend of your knees, lift your arms a little. Exhale to sink more into chair pose. Stay active with your inner legs as if you were hugging a block here. Keep it moving. Invite a little bit more fire into your motion. With inhale, rise back up through center space. Interlace your hands, index finger to sky, thumb back or hands to box option, to forearms, elbows, full breath. Exhale, lean over to the right side. Pause and sustain. Inhale, back through center. Exhale, lean left side. Right foot anchor, side body full of length. Inhale, rise back up through center, both arms high. Exhale again, swan, wide dive, fold forward, fold forward. Inhale to elongate halfway up. With exhalation, fold back down to the earth. Gradually step your right foot back behind. Lower your back knee down, double up your mat or use a prop here. Inhale to rise up, knee down, lunge. Stay level with your spine. Full deep breath. With your exhalation, hands come to your hips. On your inhale, back leg super strong. Inhale to lift your back knee off of the earth. Exhale, lower to hover. Inhale to lift. Exhale to hover. Final time. Pause in the hover. Five, four, three, two, one. Take a breath in. Exhale, hands to your front thigh, lean forward, step up, right to forward fold, front edge of your space. Inhale to lift and lengthen halfway up. Exhale, bend your knees, shift the way back. Inhale, rise all the way up to standing. Exhale, hands to your heart. 
Inhale, palms rise. Exhale, swan dive, hinge forward, forward bend. Inhale to lift, part way lift. Spine long. Exhale to fold, back down to the earth. Take your time, step left foot back. Right knee lowers. Stay with your breath, like strong. Inhale to rise up. Ribs in line with hips. Connected breath, shoulders spacious. On your exhale, hands release onto your hips. Start to move back leg super strong. Inhale to rise, knee off of the ground. Exhale to hover, your own level. So if it feels way too intense to go to a hover, don't go as far. Work with smaller movements, you're still building strength. Next time you hover your left knee off of the earth, your own degree, pause for five, four, three, two, one. Deep breath in first. Exhale, shift forward, right into forward bend. Inhale to rise, halfway lift. With your exhalation, bend your knees, shift the weight back. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, hands to heart. In breath to lift, palms high. Exhale, wide open dive, fold forward. Inhale to elongate halfway. With an out breath, fold back down to the earth. Hands plant, step back right into high plank pose, top of a push up here. Stabilize through your high plank, whole body full of length here. And with an exhalation, knees can lower or bend your elbows right from here. Come all the way down onto the earth. Keep your legs hip distance, hands by the side of your breastbone. Squeeze your glutes in breath to lengthen forward. Then add a little bit of height for cobra pose, legs steady on the ground. Stay with the breath. If you need more fire, lift your hands off of the earth. Otherwise, remaining here to activate through the core, which includes your back body. And staying mindful, inner listening. So that's part of the wisdom of the practice. To listen to what your body is asking for. And staying aware. Sometimes that asking can come from a place of wanting to give up too soon. Sometimes it's a real indication of what's needed. So discerning what's right in this moment. One more inhale. With your exhale, slowly release back down. Curl your toes, either tabletop or lift your knees. Arms strong. Inhale to lift, reverse plank. Exhale, press back, hips high, downward facing dog pose. Deep full inhalation. With your exhalation here, two options. Knees can come to the earth for tabletop, and then it's a flip and recline onto your back, or bend your knees. Feel free to take another breath cycle here too. <laughs> bend your knees, look out in front, and either a step or a hop towards your hands, slowly reclining all the way back onto the ground here. Take your hands behind of your head, lift your knees in line with the hips, the ankles cross. Inhale, deep breath, head on the ground, elbows wide. With the exhalation, lift straight up to the sky. Just a little core activation, we're not curling in, the lift is straight up. Inhale to lower, exhale, lift. Inhale, lower, exhale, lift. A few more rounds here. Final cycle, lift and sustain, five, four, three, two, one. Lower back down to the earth, feet relax, hands relax. Take a moment. And from there, reset, hands come behind your head, lift your knees again here, inhale, deep breath. With the exhale, right elbow to left knee, right leg extends, bicycle kicks here, side to side. Next time at your own rhythm, when right elbow is towards your left knee, pause here, sustain. 
and switch left to right, pause and sustain. One more time, switch, switch again, return 10 more cycles here side to side. Final three, two, one, slowly return back through center, take a deep breath in. Optional open mouth to let it go. And with your inhale, <clears throat> hands behind of your hamstrings. Again, start to rock and roll either side of your spine. If this is not lovely, fetal pose, then back to down dog. Otherwise, next time your feet are on the earth, hands come out in front, take your time, maneuver back, downward facing dog pose, hips high, honoring your speed, your transition, deep full breath. With the exhale, look out in front, make your way front edge of your mat, forward bend. Inhale to lift and lengthen halfway. Exhale to fold, relax through your facial muscles. Inhale, lengthen halfway up. With exhalation, bend your knees, shift the way back, root down, rise all the way up to standing. Interlace your hands or take the box option. Without breath, hinge over to the right. Inhale through center. Exhale, lateral opposite side. Inhale back through middle space. Exhale, release your arms by the side of your body, hands to hips. Make sure you're at the front edge of your space. Look down for balance support. Root into your left foot. In breath to lift, right knee towards hip height. If you've locked out through your left leg, create just a little bend. Inhale to draw the arms out to the side, elbows bend, wrist bend, fingers dangle. For standing crane pose. For more balance challenge, take your eyes center or sky. Deep breaths. One more breath in. Exhale, hands come to your hips, step back, right foot behind you, take your time, adjust. Back knee can bend as much as you need here to keep your spine in line with your hips. Low back to a neutral place, inhale to expand arms to the sky. With the exhalation, take your arms down to T position. Deep breath in here, lean a little back. With your exhalation, lean forward, wrap your arms to opposite shoulders. Inhale to draw back. So adding a little bit of motion, create expansion in the spine. Exhale to round in. Inhale to open. If this is too intense, back knee can always lower to the ground. One more final cycle. Open with your exhale. This time dive all the way down to the earth. Inhale, step back, three-legged down dog, left leg to the sky. Exhale, coil in, knee towards nose. Two more times, shoulders shift a little forward as you do this in line with your wrist. Finger pads super active, so we're using the little gecko paw. One more final cycle. Inhale to lift, leg up. Exhale, lower your foot down. Listen carefully here with your inhale, shift forward. High plank pose, couple of options. You can always place the knees down to the ground for less intensity here using a supported plank pose. Inhale, breath. With your exhalation, lower just to low push up. Elbows no lower than 90 degrees. With your inhale, lift back up. So again, if this is too intense, knees down. You're still building strength here. Exhale, lower. Inhale to lift. So as you check in with your elbows, make sure shoulders and elbows are in line no more than 90 degrees. Two more cycles here. Inner arms hug strong as if you had a little block there. Final cycle. Inhale to lift back up. Exhale, downward dog. Connect there. Take a moment. Notice what's present in your body. Heat, temperature, sensation. Inhale, breath. <laughs> With the exhalation, bend your knees, make your way front edge of your space, forward fold.
Inhale to lift to end length and halfway up. With exhalation, fold back down. Inhale to elongate, halfway rise. Exhale, bend your knees, shift the way back. Inhale, lift all the way up to standing. Exhale, hands lower back to your hips. Gaze point out in front for balance. Shift the weight right. Inhale, left knee floats. Stabilize here. Length from the earth all the way to the sky. Option to layer the arms. Gaze. Take your time. One more breath. Use exhale, hands to hips. Take your time, step back. Left foot back behind you. Adjust back knee, can bend to create evenness through the center body. Inhale to draw your arms high. With exhalation, arms to T. Keep your lower body stable. Begin to move here. Inhale, little lean back, extension. Exhale, draw forward, round. Cross the arms, the hands to opposite shoulders each time, giving the shoulders a little bit of lubrication, movement. Final round here, your own speed when you inhale and draw back. Exhale, release, hands back down to the earth. Step back into high plank pose, top of a push-up, full breath in. And with your exhalation, again, knees can support or lower down, low push-up, this time sustain for five, four, three, two, one. Exhale, lower all the way down onto your belly, uncurl your toes, cobra option or take the arms back behind, inhale to lift, squeeze your glutes, legs, torso, focus on elongation here as well, out through the toes, top of your head. If there's any crunch on your low back, back off the height. Relax through your mouth, your jaw. One more breath in. Exhale to release. Hands back down. Curl your toes, tabletop, or lift through reverse plank. Exhale, downward facing dog. Take a moment to connect. Deep inhale. With your exhale, re-ground here. Inhale to lengthen your left leg high to the sky. With your exhalation, knee to nose, round in. Inhale, leg high. Exhale, step your left foot in between your hands. Take your time and breath to rise up, crescent lunge. Exhale, open your arms, T position. Inhale, lean back, extend. With exhalation, round forward. Inhale to elongate. Arms back behind. With exhalation, hands to your hips. Lean forward, torso 45 degrees. Look out in front for balance. Gradually root left foot down, right knee floats, hip height. With your exhale, take your foot to a placement to the inner line of your leg. Tree pose without using the hand. Wherever you land, let it be. Activate there, side body full of length. Hands to heart or the arms go higher up for balance. So know that the goal of tree is not to get your knee in line with your hip. Whatever angle your right knee is at, allow it to be based on your own range of motion. Everyone's a little different. One more breath here. Exhale, hands come back to your hips, float your right knee out in front, take a breath, exhale to step, your right foot back behind, return to crescent, sink, inhale, arms rise to the sky. Without breath, lower your hands down to the earth, frame your front foot, right hand plants, inhale, twist and revolve, left arm to the sky.
deep breath. With your out breath, listen carefully, both hands to the inside of your left foot. Gradually spin your whole body to the back edge of your mat. Root your hands down, step back right into high plank pose. Scoop your tail, tone the low belly here. Fire up through your finger pads. Gradually shift your whole weight, side plank. This is where you can come onto a forearm for support or step your left foot out in front for more stability here. Super strong at the center of your body, option for left arm to join. Deep breathing here. Full inhale. With the exhale, hands down, option to flow, cobra, locust, or move through up dog. Super strong with the glutes and up dog. Exhale, press back downward, facing dog pose. Deep connected breath. With your inhalation, right leg rises to the sky. Exhale, coil in, knee towards nose. Inhale, leg high. Exhale, step your right foot through in between your hands. In breath to lift up through crescent lunge. With exhalation, arms to T position, deep breath in. With exhale, lean forward, hands onto your hips, look out in front, rising right into balance. Right foot anchors, left knee to hip height this time. And from there, move into your tree pose on this side. The sides might be different, so acknowledging where your foot lands here, inner line of your leg, play with the gaze, with the arms. Relax through your mouth, your jaw. Inhale to float your left knee back out in front, hands to the hips. With exhale, step once again back behind, crescent lunge pose, stable. Inhale, arms rise to the sky. Exhale, hinge forward, fold left hand down. In breath to revolve your spine, right arm follows last. Rotate more from your mid and upper back. Full breath in. Exhale, both hands to the inside of your front foot. Once again, take your time, spin all the way to the front edge of your mat. Step back, high plank pose, stabilize your foundation is strong in plank. Fire up little gecko paw on the left fingertips. Gradually shift the weight, everything to the left. Feet stack or ankles can cross. For less intensity, right foot out in front, come onto forearm. Super strong in the center of the body, hips level. Relax through your mouth, your jaw. One more breath in, your own expression here in the pose. Exhale to return, high plank pose, your choice, down dog, or flow through your own rhythm here. In downward dog, take a breath. Exhale to come up to the front edge of your mat, forward bend. Inhale to lift and lengthen halfway up. Exhale, bend your knees, shift the weight back right from here. Inhale, rise up all the way up to standing. Circle sweep the arms. Exhale, palms to heart center. Take a moment, relax your eyes. Pause, receive. And check in what's going on for you, what's present in your physical body, where is your breath, your mind? What shifts on your life path when you're able to connect to this place of wisdom and strength? And gently from there, release your hands <clears throat> back to your hips. Look out in front for balance support, right foot or left foot rather, 
anchors. Inhale to once again float right knee to hip height. You can always stay with crane pose. Or one more time, take a tree posture here. Foot lands wherever it naturally anchors. Center of the body stable. <clears throat> and this time around, explore one more option. So play with an option you didn't last time. Maybe it's the arms to the sky or playing with your gaze. If you fall out, no big deal. On an inhale, return your right knee to center. Exhale, step your right foot back behind. Crescent lunge, inhale to lift, arms rise to the sky. With exhalation, fold back down to the earth. Inhale to press back, three-legged down dog, left leg to the sky. With exhalation, bend your knee, twist over to the right side. Pause here for five, four, three, two, one. Inhale, leg to the sky. Exhale, lower your foot down. Use an inhale, roll forward, high plank pose, top of a push-up, stable and strong. Fire up through your finger pads one more time. Stack here for side plank pose. Take your options, and this time around, if it feels supportive, add the movement of tree pose without pulling the foot, just wherever it lands. Center of the body active. One more breath. Exhale to return. High plank pose. Feel free to flow through your own rhythm here. Lots of options to play with. Find yourself downward facing dog pose. from down dog breath in exhale make your way front edge of your space forward fold inhale to lift and elongate part way exhale bend your knees shift the weight inhale circle rise all the way up to standing exhale hands fold down palms to hips find gaze point for stable support right foot anchors inhale to float left knee Begin to play here, tree pose. Wherever your foot land, plug, plug it into the side of your opposite leg. Stay cognizant of the extended leg. And take another exploration here on this side. Might even be softening your eyes part way. Honoring where you're landing in your posture. If you fall out, no big deal. One more breath. And with an inhale, return your left knee back to center. Exhale, step it back right into crescent. Stable with your legs. Inhale, arms rise to the sky. Exhalation, lower back down. Inhale, right leg high, three-legged downward facing dog. Exhale, coil in knee to nose. Inhale, leg high. Exhale, lower your foot down dog. Inhale, again, roll forward, high plank pose. Stabilize yourself first here, active core. From there, shift the weight onto the left side of your space and take any option, feel free to play with tree pose variation, inside plank, honoring any little turbulence, shake. Center of the body, super level here. Final in breath. Exhale to float through your own rhythm, always option to skip and arrive just a down dog, celebrating your body. Coming back to down dog, if you've slowed through your own movement, and take three rounds of integrative breaths here in down dog. One more inhale. With your exhalation, knees land down onto your mat. With the inhale, take your hands to your thighs, rise up kneeling position, circle the arms 
With your exhalation, open the arms wide. Take a few rotating motions with your wrists. Squeeze through your fingers. And from there, roll your shoulders a few cycles up, back, down. Pause the motion of your shoulders. Inhale to sweep, arms rise to the sky. With exhale, take your hands behind you, interlace your fingertips, little bend in the elbows, stretch your knuckles back, open through your front body. Exhale, release, hands back through center. Inhale, circle the arms high. Exhale, lower your hands down, out in front, interlace your hands opposite way from the floor. This time, flip your palms forward in breath to take the arms to the sky. Soften through your ribs. Natural low back curve starts to lengthen upwards. Exhale, bend through your elbows, little cactus arms, circle arms back down to the earth here. Adjust your hips to one side. Extend your legs all the way out in front. Point your toes. Create a little stretch for the underside of your legs. And from here, take your hands back behind. Wrist can be at whatever angle works here for your body. Shoulders embrace. Inner leg strong. Flare through your toes. With inhale, lift. Hips and pelvis rise towards the sky, chin to sternum, incline plane pose. If this is way too intense, bend your knees. Take a reverse table instead. Inhale, breath. Exhale to land back down to the earth. Knees can bend as much as you need for hamstring low back support. In breath, lift your arms. With your exhale, keep the strength of your core. Slowly recline all the way back onto the ground. Take a moment to pause here, noticing any sensation or residual echo from your muscles, from your body. And from this place, bend your knees, take your knees to your heart space, open your feet to the right and left, happy baby pose, hands can come onto your ankle or calves, ankles, sides of the feet, only if your low back and sacrum are at ease on the ground. This might be plenty in the inner groin sensation, if you need a little bit more, start to tug down with arm strength, same time press your feet skyward. You can stay right there or a little gentle rock side to side if that feels comfortable for your spinal column. One more connected and deep breath. With exhale, if you're in motion, return back to center. Hug both of your knees in. And gradually release. Left foot onto the ground, right ankle to left thigh, below your knee, figure four. This might be where you pause or feel free to explore <clears throat> lifting your left foot. Hands interlace behind your hamstring or on top of your left knee. Make any little micro motions for exploration.
And check in with any holding through your mouth, your jaw. Notice where your mind is at. If it's in another narrative of your life, bring the focus back to your body, to your breath. Use an exhaling breath to lower back down. Left ankle to right thigh, take your time, stay here or explore any other posture options that work in your body, deep listening. One more full, complete cycle of breath. And with your exhale, gradually release, embrace both of your knees to center. And from here, inner listening even more. For the next two minutes or so, find a way to create a little closing ritual for your own practice. What else is being asked for from your body, from your breath? If you find that rest is what you are wanting most, then honor that call and take some added time to come into the relaxation pose. If you are still in movement, take your time, next 10 breaths or so. Move in the direction of the final posture. If you're already in the final pose, take some added moments to adjust, create even more comfort, cover up if you cool down quickly, if you have something for the eyes, Give them a little bit more darkness. And take time here as you settle to give yourself this gift, this final segment of the practice to receive, to integrate your movement, your breath. And release any remaining holding tension in your feet, legs. And allow your abdominal muscles, ribs, back body to be completely at ease. And soften through your arms and shoulders. And 
Relax any tension through your neck and mouth, jaw, eyelids, and forehead. Letting go. And full permission to simply be here, rest. I'll come back in several minutes to guide you out.
and very slowly become more conscious of your body at rest. If you have some more time in your day to stay put, be in relaxation a little bit longer, go ahead and stay here. Otherwise, start to awaken through some motions, fingers, toes, head, neck, any other stretches that work for you. With an inhale, knees rise to center, roll over to one side in a fetal position. And from this place of gratitude for your body, find a way to rise back up. Take a supportive seat. Feel free to use a prop. to support the low back, eyelids soft, the hands connected in front of heart center. And observe here in this space, anything that has moved, shifted with your participation in your practice this morning. And to affirm each other's company, your own intention for showing up. Gently bow your head to your own heart. Celebrating your wisdom, your strengths. Namaste.